What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lizzie and today we are going to be doing best painting wins $10,000. Wow. So there are going to be three rounds and whoever has the most points wins the entire challenge. So we're going to be painting some paintings today on these little like easels and little canvas. Yes, sir. All right, I think I'm pretty good at painting. Yeah, are you guys ready? Stone right over here. I mean, you he might as well. Hey, hey, what's up? Are you guys ready? Oh, ready. ready. I'm ready. This is just like the pancake art challenge. Each person will have three minutes to complete their painting. The winner of each round gets one point, and whoever has the most points at the end of the three rounds wins the challenge and wins ten thousand dollars. Wow. Okay. So, are you guys ready for round number one? Yeah, I am ready. Right. Let's do it. This is the picture we have to draw. It's just SpongeBob. So. Oh. You guys have three minutes. The um, timer starts now. All right, three minutes on the clock. I've done SpongeBob a couple of times on, I think, pizza and pa Carter, pancake in the back. Time. Hang on. And uh, I've done really good at this, so I think I am going to make a really good SpongeBob since I know how to do SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob, it's not copying. I'm starting off with my black outline and then I'll fill in colors. Look at the lineup, guys. Look at that lineup. Wow. Oh, wow. Mine looks beautiful. Mine looks. Hey, I'm impressed with what. Okay, Ryan, that's high. <laughs> <laughs> what did happen? I. I what about this? You <laughs> can't tell me. <separate laughs> So everybody finished their SpongeBob painting and we're gonna go through the lineup. Carter, you're up first. I'm up first. Let me show you what I got. My SpongeBob, I got a nice black outline and I only ever got to using a couple colors, orange for the body, and, or yellow for the body and orange for the pants. I think it looks pretty good. Liz, let's see what you got. So my SpongeBob is also outlined in black. I actually got to finishing the whole thing, unlike you guys. <laughs> Did you? And <laughs> he squished a little, a little bit. Squish. But he kind of looks like me, so it's it works out. I think I'm like gonna you. win. All right, right. Uh, I think it's important to note that this is just a perfect representation of SpongeBob, photorealistic, and it doesn't get much more accurate than it's that. It's pretty interesting how you did this. It's great. And his tie is just. You know, it's very large. <laughs> so if you'll, if you'll notice mine versus the other two that have been shown so far, there is a tie included. Uh, he has different shading on his body, where I don't see any shading on these two. And last but not least, we got Stobu. Well, the only thing is my eyes are a little bit, a little bit <laughs> uneven, but I, oh, I don't see any blue on their eyes. That's true. That's true. And then, you know, I think mine is the best overall, except for the legs. The legs are a little, you kind of went at a little bit of an angle. A little bit of angle, yeah. you know, it's tilted. Yeah. I think I won this one. And the results are in. Hand me the results. Oh, there it is. I wonder who's going to win. I think it's going to be me. Actually, I, I know it's going to be me. I think it might be Stowe. <gasps> the winner is Stowe. Oh! I didn't see that. Wow. Oh. I didn't see that. Okay, so Stove gets a point, which puts him in first place. Let's move on to round number two. For the next round, we are going to be painting the llama from Fortnite. Whoa, that looks a little bit harder. Thank you. Yeah, this one is a little bit harder. You're gonna have to use a lot more color if you wanna win this challenge. We got three minutes on the clock. Timer starts now. Oh, snap. Okay, so we have three minutes? Yep. Jeez. Okay. I've never painted this before. This is gonna be tough. Using my brush technique and I learned. Put hey, don't look at mine. I'm not looking at yours. I'm looking at it now, though. Stop. This is definitely more challenging, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, this is way harder than SpongeBob. Oh, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push it down. Oh my god. That was so stressful. <laughs> Up first, we got Stove. Let's see what you got. All right, Stove, you're the reigning champ. What do you got? Uh, I think I'm going to stay the reigning champ. I think, looking down the line, I got the whole package almost. We'll talk about it. What you don't it? even have legs. I got rose. I mean, in the picture, oh, there are no the legs. And then yeah. I got a little bit of grass. Yeah. But I forgot the trees, though, so that might hurt me in this round. So we'll see. Right? I really think I learned a lot from last round. I uh, perfected my technique, and this is my masterpiece. Yep. Yep. We got a perfect llama with beautiful lush grass. Is he crying? Yes. <laughs> he is crying. Okay, Aww. Liz. <laughs> Wait, that is hard. <laughs> so here we have the beautiful background with the trees in the back and the road, very detail oriented. And we got the llama with the little legs and the body and the face and he's smiling. All right. Last but not least, we have my painting, and I want to talk you through how great this thing. At first glance, you might be a little bit shocked, and that was intended. <laughs> if you zoom in on the llama, you'll see he's got quite the underbite. I don't see that underbite in any of these other drawings, but you do see it in mine. I exaggerated that piece because I knew other people would leave it out, so this is a detail-oriented llama face. Okay, well, let's see what the judge has to say and see who wins this smart round. I'm a little worried about this one. Me too. I'm not worried, this is in the bag. Alright, let's see. Who won? What is it? Is this the right one? It's the same as last time. Wait, this is it. Are you kidding? Stop! How is that the best one? But it is, is so This is biased. Boring. This is so biased. Can we get a new judge, Liz? I don't like this judge. Well, mine also, I didn't I didn't leave out the pouch on the llama as well. That's what that is? <sighs> I need, we're gonna need a, a justification from the judge as to why. Because really no one else has the underbite. This is accurate. I would have picked your second. Really? Honestly, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> really? His? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <It's> accurate. <laughs> you can't even see what's happening in it. <laughs> so Stove won the last round, and he's still in first place with a total of two points. But this final round is going to be very challenging. It's the hardest painting and it's going to be worth a total of three points, so it could be anybody's game. So you're saying I still have a chance? Yes, sir. All right, let's get to it. For the final round, we are going to be painting the Mona Lisa. The Wait, what? what? What's that? The Mona Lisa? The most famous painting in the world? Ah. Yep. Liz, that's not going to be easy. I know. That's why it's worth three points. And if you paint it perfectly, it'll be worth millions of dollars. So technically, if you win, you get $10,000 and millions because it's a perfect painting. That is true, and I do see some uh, hidden talents right here, so someone might be able to replicate it exactly. We will have five minutes in this round because of how hard this painting is. Timer starts now. Oh, I already messed up. How much time do have? I kind of like Ryan's technique. I'm gonna copy it. I'm copying whoa, whoa. Ryan. Hey! Hey! Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, what I'm doing is I'm working backwards. I'm gonna work the layers up. That's what I'm doing too. That is just. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, but you threw it. You threw it. You threw this. You threw the wind. Alright. Are you guys, are you guys seeing this? There are no. I'm, I'm a literally Bob Ross. There's a lake and trees, Liz, in the back of this. Okay, she's copying my technique. Are you serious? I literally started doing this before you. DQ, Liz is copying me. She's trying to Bob Ross. I'm literally using both. She's literally Bob Rossing trees as she says, there's no trees in this. That's copying. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Ten, nine, eight. I'm already done, seven, so I'm good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. one. 
Oh, that was so stressful. Okay, let's go down the line. Carter, you want to start first? Oh, please, of course. Yeah, so this is my Mona Lisa. So the technique I did was get the background as uh, precise as possible. So let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. So this is uh, the original. Oh, wait, no. Uh, this is the original, <laughs> but it's so similar you can almost not tell how great it is. But the background with the sky and don't forget the lake and the trees and the shrubbery and the little path right here. Those are all very important details. And then I painted Mona Lisa on top of the background. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like I'm up next. Here's my painting of Mona. She looks amazing as usual. And um, I would say I had a very interesting painting technique. You could see the little like shoulder throw that goes like on her shoulder wow. and her eyes and her nose. Very detailed. So I think I got this one in the details. Back. Yes, wrong details. Started off well, I did the background first. I thought it looked pretty good, and then the moment I did the eyes, it turned into a man. Why does he have a stab? <laughs> no, that's, that's a mouth. That's, that's the mouth, and that's like the little, this thing under your lip. It looks like he has a little goatee. You know, this is like Picasso, it's a little abstract. But I got the colors right, and I got the skin tone right as well. That's supposed to be the, is that the road? And then that that's the road? and then that's the road. So my details are actually very good. Where's I the think. Trees? And where's the lake? There's no trees. Abstract, right there. Uh, See right there. Oh, abstract. So and her face. You know, I want to emphasize her beautiful face. This is, so you should honestly like <laughs> not. <laughs> is that her hand? That's her hand right there. <laughs> Well, not to be mean, no, but this painting will like come alive and it looks haunt like you. It's gonna haunt us. <laughs> okay, guys, comment down below whose Mona Lisa painting is the best. Let's see the final results. Bang! Whoa. I'm feeling good about okay. this one. I haven't won a challenge yet, but all I need is this last challenge to win <gasps> by one point. <laughs> okay. What is it? This is insane. Really? I can't believe it, the outcome of this. Wait, seriously? Really? Are you so <laughs> The winner? The winner. Who is it? Is. Ryan! What? How do you win this Mona? You did Larry. I know! The Mona Larry. Oh, what an upset in the history of art. I thought. Well, I think it's my Who is this judge? <laughs> <laughs> She's fired. <laughs> or he. Here you go. Thank you so much. I really and think there's some kind of beauty with this one. Look at from a distance, that looks like the original. So this is the winning painting. It is literally worth $10,000 and it will be on sale. We're gonna put a listing on eBay. So it's gonna be in the de description below. Go check it out if you guys wanna purchase Larry. The Mona Larry. The Mona Larry. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I cannot actually believe that Ryan's painting is now worth $10,000. Crazy, I'm out of here. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.